So guys, you may not be aware of this, uh, there's basically an exploit which allows you to get unlimited legendaries. Now me personally, I will not be doing this and I will not be showcasing it here today. But there are guides popping up all over YouTube which state how it works and showcase in-depth guides to it. I personally don't feel it's worth any kind of risk and have word from Square Enix and basically a recommendation to avoid it, which we'll get into today. Plus to me, although it's nice to have those legendaries and their mods, I do feel it takes away the very enjoyment this game offers. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Okay so this exploit allows you to get roughly 30 legendaries within a few hours and how it works is kind of simple. Now it will take you an hour at least to do and keep doing over and over but like I said I would not recommend this people. Also I would not be showing you how it's done but it is live and in the game and it's also something people are using and abusing. I'm here to give you a little word of advice. Okay, so it's to do with the hunts, bounties and the story and events. If you complete one of these on your character but do not restart the quest line and then join someone else who hasn't completed it and complete it with them and cash in those rewards in that party, you get legendaries for days. It's basically as simple as that. It does take entire runs of the whole quest for each of the hunts, bounties and the story and events. So it will take you a little while to do. Now, as you know, I'd normally have a guide on this, but in my opinion, it ruins the experience. I know I ain't one to tell anyone how to play the game, but this video was made as more of a warning. This is an exploit. It's not meant to happen or to be taken advantage of. I've spoken to Square Enix and right now I will state this is not recommended. So if I were you, I'd avoid this like the plague. Yes, for sure, it's very nice having all those pretty legendaries, but at the end of the day, the repercussions on your account are truly not worth it. So again, guys, if I were you, I would not use this at all. I will state Square Enix and People Can Fly are aware of this method as there are videos just popping up absolutely everywhere. But all of those videos explain and tell people how this is done. I, on the other hand, am here with a little word of advice. Don't use this, guys. But hey, again, I can't tell you how to play the game. What I will say is there are plenty of ways to earn legendaries in this game. As you get higher up in that world tier levels and those challenge tier levels for expeditions, legendaries drop way more often and probably as quick as this exploit anyway. So if anyone in reality is at end game, this exploit really isn't worth it. I mean, yes, it's guaranteed legendaries, but it could also result in that dreaded watermark upon your gameplay, which no one wants to have. If I were you, I'd just stick to the standard captain farms, the boss farms, the chrysaloid farms, the expedition farms, and play the game the way the game is supposed to be played. So yes, guys, a little bit of a word of advice. Although a lot of people who are watching this video are probably thinking of use this, what are the repercussions? I mean, I don't think they'll penalize you if you've used it right now. What I do think is if you carry on using it and exploiting it and the more this method grows and gets bigger and the more it gets out there, I'm pretty certain that actions might be taken. So yes, a word of advice, guys. Play the game as it's supposed to be played. Avoid this exploit. Don't ruin the game for yourselves. It's truly not worth it. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis as well as streams, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.